What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to my channel. I wanted to take the, a quick moment to say thank you to all you guys who've been showing my channel all this love and support. Uh, the last 48 hours have been really amazing to me on YouTube and on the internet. Uh, I've gotten emails uh, requesting uh, interviews. I've uh, gotten uh, tweets. Yu Suzuki, actually, uh, who, if you guys don't know who he is, he actually is the gentleman who's developing Shinmu 3. He actually tweeted my Shinmu 3 reaction video. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 reaction video is at 94,000 views in 48 hours. Uh, it's been phenomenal, and I wanted to say thank you to all you guys. It wouldn't have happened without you. Uh, I didn't do it for, you know, I did it for shiggles. You know, I was watching it, I didn't expect it, and that was my real reaction. And I wanted to let you guys know who I am, because I got a lot of new subscribers in the last 48 hours. I'm Beastly Gamer. And uh, I play video games. <laughs> As you guys can see, I have quite a few of them. I, I actually have 39 consoles, and I play them all. They all work. And I have a family. I have four kids and a wife, and they all play video games. My wife, she plays on her uh, display in her PS4 every day. And uh, she's actually playing a video game right now. And um, I want to talk to you guys about Final Fantasy VII and Shinmu. What makes them so special to me? I'm going to start with Shinmu. Uh, Shinmu was introduced to me when I bought my Dreamcast, and it was one of the first third-person RPG with tons of extra elements and things that you could do. Kind of similar to the way Grand Theft Auto is now, uh, but you had so many other options, so many things that you could learn in Shinmu. You could go to the arcade, all kinds of stuff that you could do. And so it opened up a brand new door for me. And I wanted to see the, the story of Ryu go all the way through to the end. Uh, and I didn't and that's one of those situations where like you're watching a really good show and it gets canceled and uh, Everybody has been crying about uh, Shinmu uh, coming back and uh, for a long time I didn't think what happened uh, Phil Spencer said they had the opportunity to do it They didn't want to and so when Sony announced that After the Final Fantasy 7 reveal which was about 45 seconds in between both reveals I almost I was finished you guys saw the video. I was totally done. I was actually texting my brother and I was telling him about the Final Fantasy VII reveal, and then I heard the theme to Shinmu. And I looked up, and before it even came on, I knew what the theme was, because I still play Shinmu on my Dreamcast. And um, it, it just took me back. It took me back to being a, a young, young man. I'm 35. Uh, it took me really back, and, and, and it filled me with excitement. And now that now that I know these two games are coming, I really do feel like a kid again. I, just, I feel like my own kids. I got a 13 and 14 year old. And so let's talk a little bit about Final Fantasy VII, right? As you guys can see, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of the game. I love Final Fantasy VII. That's the real Buster Sword. I love Kingdom Hearts, too. I was really happy to see Kingdom Hearts at E3 as well. And my favorite anime in the world is Naruto. So you guys get an idea of what, what I'm all about, video games and anime. But Final Fantasy VII, it was the first Japanese RPG I ever really got a chance to play. Uh, and before then, I never played Chrono Trigger. Oh, I know it's it's a crime, but I never played it. Uh, you know, I didn't have any friends playing it. I was playing games like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter on my Super Nintendo, and I never really had an opportunity to play an RPG. Final Fantasy VII was the first RPG, the very first one I ever played, and it, like I said, it opened up a door that I didn't even know existed. It was, to me, the creation of a whole new genre because I never experienced the genre before, and it meant so much to me watching these characters. Yeah, I was one of those bitch-ass dudes who cried when Ares died. I was done. Yeah. <laughs> I got cried during the reveal, man. You guys got to feel me on this. But uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, is a game that I've been wanting to be remade for a very, very long time. Uh, graphically, the game hasn't stood up to the test of time. I tried to get my wife to play it. She played for a few hours and then drifted away, and I was like, oh, God, you got to go back to it. Uh, but I think this remake is going to breathe all the, the new life in it that Final Fantasy VII needs. If you ask me, Final Fantasy VII is the best Final Fantasy, and that's because I didn't play the previous ones. I didn't play the early ones. I started at seven and played every one since. Uh, but it means a lot to me. It's a lot of nostalgia for me. Uh, it's something I've been wanting for a very, very long time, and I'm so happy. I want to say thanks to everybody who's involved in this project, uh, to Sony, to Square, to everyone who came together to culminate this, and as well as, as Shinmu and Yu Suzuki tweeting my video. Thank you so much. Uh, domo arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Uh, it means the world to me. Uh, that you would even consider doing that. It's making my channel so much better. And uh, I got a lot of new friends. And I just want to say thank you to all you guys. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Show that support. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.